Okay, in this video, I'm going to estimate the value of the American call option uh, using a trinomial lattice based on Feel and Boyle. Uh, I will leave links to previous videos where I went through a little bit more in detail the Excel spreadsheet. Um, in this video, I'm going to concentrate on the speed of estimation using uh, C++ in Google Colab. So the parameter values I have here for the option, it's an American call, and we have a stock price or an asset value of 100, an exercise of 100, three years maturity. Uh, R here is given as 3%, so that's the risk free rate. B is R negative Q, where Q is the dividend yield. And if B is equal to negative zero, 0 0.04, that means Q is equal to 7. V is equal to 20%, so that's the volatility of the underlying asset. And we have a nine step tree here based on the actual manual stock price tree worked out here, trinomial. And we would value using um, backward recursion in the manual tree, the value of the American call option is 878. Eight, so 879 virtually and here using VBA code uh, we got the same result right so the result here and here are the same so first of all I'm going to set this up in the call lab using C++ code um, and it's going to be a static implementation and then we see the speed improvement coming from a, a, a dynamic uh, implementation okay so to run C++ code here, I'll leave this collab, a link to this collab um, in a hyperlink below the video. Uh, to run C++ code um, in Google Colab, uh, basically all you need to do is write your code into the cell and then include this command, which will execute, will allow then R to execute. If we come down here, take a look at the parameter values, they're the same. We'll change this to eight to nine steps. Otherwise, the values are the same as what we would have observed in the spreadsheet. And then when we run this, uh, nothing will be immediately produced to output the result of the CPP file. We come down here and we get 878877 which is, again, we can check to verify that this is the same as what we had obtained in the spreadsheet. Let's go back in, take a look. Looks to be the same. Let's just paste 878877. Looks to be the same, okay? So after making that estimation, let's go down to the, uh, by the dynamic code, which is in the same, uh, Google, uh, Google Colab Python notebook. So we're running um, <clears throat> the C++ in the Python notebook. This is static code. The original code comes from Fabrice uh, Rua and it's uh, based on uh, creating a static tree, which I've explained before. And I'll leave a link to that explanation uh, below the, the video clip. Okay, so the next segment of code is based on, uh, again, um, in this instance, on Hoag. And uh, I've used, I've introduced some elements also from uh, Fabrice Rua, uh, Quinn Ruxiang and Barn. And let's, uh, so it's same basic uh, parameter values. Uh, we'll change that to eight, we'll verify we get the same result. It actually should be nine. So let's run that again. And let's output, and it should be eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, seven. So let's copy that snippet of code. And, or we can just compare here. We had compared before to the spreadsheet. So let's just post that here and compare to what we had estimated before, eight, seven, eight, eight. 8788 uh, and yes they they would appear the same okay 
Now, typically for a tree, for a trinomial tree, we, we would need a large number of estimations. I'm going to um, put in a very large step size here and we'll bring this up to 15,000. Okay, and that's, that's probably excessive for a trinomial. And then let's output our result and it takes a little while. And I'll, while we're waiting for that to happen, we'll come down here and amend this to be in the dynamic tree, amend the number of steps to 15,000. Now it probably still executing because 15,000 steps imposes a fairly significant number of um, computations. So uh, that clearly is uh, an issue, but um, we can take a look at uh, table two from Brody and the Temple, and I'll just include that here. So if we take a look at Brody, table two, Brody and the Temple, uh, 1996, that's where the original paper is. Using the same parameters as we have introduced in our tree uh, for this binomial, using a 15,000 step binomial tree, we would get 9.066 for an American call, right? So let's go back into Colab and compare. And it still hasn't executed yet. So, um, that's an issue with a relatively large tree, static tree, uh, 15,000 steps um, imposes a, a large number of computations. So what I might do is pause uh, for a moment and then come back when we have um, that result uh, pops out. Okay, so uh, using the static tree, we're getting 9.0659, which is basically 9.066. So that's fine. That's consistent with Brody in the temple. Um, it took longer than expected, uh, 104, uh, 1.9 CPU seconds uh, in the output here. So that took a, a, a certain amount of time. Um, let's have a look here at the dynamic code. Again, the same uh, parameter inputs. I'm going to run with 15,000 steps. We'll execute and this time it should be faster, but I'll pause while we wait for the result to output. Okay, and we can see now after running the script bash here, command, uh, we have the same result as before. So we have 9065 uh, nine, um, and it only took 20 seconds. So I've put this up here, um, and then we can compare against the result we obtained from the previous estimation using the static code. And you can see it's exactly the same result for the trinomial model, which is consistent with Brody the Temple 1996 for this American call option. The only difference here is the estimation time with the static code it took 104.19 CPU seconds. Uh, with the dynamic code, it took 20.974. So we're getting a fairly significant, significant saving in terms of estimation time. Fortunately, with Google Colab, we don't, uh, the, it's a fairly robust estimator and these large scale estimations uh, are really, um, possible in this environment and that takes uh, th that's extremely useful and it saves uh, your processor as well. Um, okay, so let's uh, finish that video here.